In this video, we're going to go through a few examples that will help us to see if we know how to measure distances correctly using a ruler and on a graph. So example A, what is the distance marked on the ruler below? The ruler is in centimeters. So according to the ruler postulate, if we have our ruler lined up at any two points, and here it's lined up at 3 and 8, the distance of that segment is just the difference between these two endpoints. So that means that this distance has to be 5 centimeters. It's going from 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 to 8. That's 5 centimeters total. So the main mistake you might make is to just say 8 because it ends at 8 or 3 because it starts at 3. But the key thing is you have to subtract to get the right answer. Okay, example B, make a sketch of segment OP where Q is between OP. Well, let's start by making a sketch of segment OP. And because of this symbol on top, it means it's a segment, so it ends at either end, and that would be where the O and the P come in. It's labeled OP. And it just says Q is between O and P. So in math, that implies that it's actually on the same segment. And Q could be anywhere on that segment, so I'm just going to put it right here, but it could be anywhere. It could be closer to P than to O. The main thing is Q has to be on the segment. You can't just put Q over here because then it is not technically between as far as math is concerned. All right, and let's look at the last example. What is the distance between the two points shown below? So we have it labeled that this is the point 2, 3, and this is the point 2, 9. So this is a vertical line. So there's a couple ways you could do this. You could just actually count how many segments there are, or little units there are, between the two endpoints. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I can see it's 6 units long. Another way you could do it, sort of more mathematically, that involves less counting, would be to look at the y-coordinates, which is, because it's changing in the y-direction, and subtract them. 9 minus 3 equals 6, so again we get 6 units. Okay, same answer. Now we could just do a similar thing if the question had been a horizontal line segment. Even if it hadn't labeled the coordinates for us, of course you could label the coordinates yourself. This is the point 7, 6, and this is the point 4, 6. Notice in this case that the y-coordinates are the same for the two points because it's a horizontal line segment. So in this case, we could either count that it's three segments long, or we could subtract the two x-coordinates and get 7 minus 3 equals, or sorry, 7 minus 4 equals three units long. At this point, hopefully you feel pretty confident about measuring distances. Why don't you try the practice problems on your own or some of the guided practice to see how you do. Good luck!